Hello and welcome to my channel. Thank you for tuning in. Oh, the sun is a bit bright. And if you're new to the channel, a big welcome to you. If you're subscribed, thank you for your subscription. Today we are at Abadawa Lighthouse, which is here. Normally I fish on the other side from it. Uh, but today I thought I might go to, the, to this side. You can see there's, there's a rocky mark. There's kelp in there. And basically, the idea is, because there aren't any bus in here at the moment, or if they ever come in this year. Uh, I talked to a few people, and also I listened to some people on the YouTube channels, that the theory is there's only a few bass, a few far in between. And they're saying or they're speculating that there's not many mackerels around. And of course there's a lot of little white baits and this is what the bass are feeding on, but offshore. So they're gorging themselves on the small white bait and they've got no need to come into the coast. So that's the theory at the moment because I haven't heard or seen or any bass coming around here locally. So today I'm after Kotling. See they turn up. Cotling, Ras, that's quite a good spot here. Quiet. Kelpie. So I'm going to fish just on the edge of the kelp there. And yeah, I'm just going to give it a go. And today, my normal setup with the first rod, but with a rock bottom rig. But I'm going to have, try something new. And basically, I have some uh, lugworm with a live live hardback crab tied onto it because last year when I caught cod legs and I opened the stomach there were small hardback crabs in there so let's try let's give it a go let's try something new and uh, yeah my normal setup uh, 12 foot beach caster 7000 reel 40 pounds braid and 70 pounds shock leader and uh, here it's just a normal rock bottom rig that that design is from the fish locker and I caught loads of fish on it so basically it's just a twisted boom with some floating beads a 3 -oh hook 4 ounce rolling lead with a 20 I think it's 20 18 20 pounds breakaway and this is 50 pounds main line or body and yeah we're going to cast it out and see how it goes a beautiful evening though beautiful quite good clarity uh, yeah the wind has already changed to the east it was coming from the west and now it's changed to the east so it's a reasonable tide so there's a good swell in there so hopefully it's going to bring some fish in right oh look at that view huh I never get sick and tired of that view just listen to the waves and sit here and visit, uh, uh, look at the view. There's some old castle over there, another castle over there. Ah, it's beautiful. So, okay, let's get it, the first one in the, in the water and then I set a second one, second one up. Maybe later I'm going to change, near the high tide I'm going to change maybe to floats. Let's see how we go, but, but the water at the moment is very colored. You can see it's colored here, but further out it's clear. So if it clears up, I'm going to change to float and maybe go for mackerel or something. If not, then I'll just stay on the bottom. So, all right, let's get casted out and I'll keep you updated. Oh, by the way, it's Friday, the 18th evening. Uh, right, it's about four o'clock. High tide is about nine-ish, ten-ish. So we're going to fish the high, maybe two hours down. Let's see how, how it develops. How I fancy it. All right, let's get it cast out. All right, I got my second rod set up. And the same set, the same set, set up, but just a different rod. I have to, had to borrow my son's spinning rod, the 10 foot mackerel rod. As, uh, 
on my other rod the, the top ring broke so I got a new one I just have to put it on so yeah it's a strong rod it's got a I think was it a Shakespeare Firebird I think it's a five or four or five thousand or five or six thousand I don't know it's a good rod strong rod so yeah same same setup with the rig and I got lugworm uh, and I strapped on a peeler. So let's see, let's get fired out and see what happens. Strong tide because you can see the rods keeps bending. Uh, it's in the kelp or in the edge of the kelp. Yeah. Huh? Uh, strong, strong current. Uh, let's get the other one fired out and then see what happens. Yeah, I just had my first bite on the on the big rod. Uh, I felt it on, but it came off. So yeah, I just put another another worm on there and uh, check it back out. So there is life here. Let's see what happens. I had another bite on the, on the bigger rod, but I think it's just small rice picking at the bigger bait. So, but look at the weather, huh? Sunshine. Huh? That is absolutely beautiful. Wow. And it's quite warm as well. So, yeah, we keep you updated as we go along. No rattles on the small rod. So, I've just changed just to playing lagworm. And I prepared another a peeler crab for the big rod. Prepared, so, gonna get it in very soon and change it over. So, we keep you updated. Yeah, hook stripped. So that means we have heavy crab activity. So I have to change it more often. So yeah, let's get it back out. Here we go. My first codling of the year, about a pound and a half. Very nice, nice summer codling, Bronx one on the peeler crab, as I predicted. So yeah, nice. Let's get a nice picture and keep you updated. Wow, that is the blank saved. <laughs> right, I'm gonna. I changed the the smaller rod. I changed the rig to a pulley panel, just with two big lugworms on there, and I had I just had a good bite, but I missed it. So yeah, it seems to be working because I didn't get any bites on on the smaller rod. So I changed the the rig to pulley panel, and it paid off. A nice bite. Nothing else on the on the big rod so far. So yeah, what a gorgeous evening. Look beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah, nice movements, nice, nice swell. So yeah, hopefully we can catch some more. Await the action. <laughs> Big crabs down there. Whoa, that's an old one. Look at that. It's full with uh, barnacles. And there was actually a second crab on there, but he fell off. Wow, there's some big ones down there. Uh, let's see if that is a peeler. <laughs> All right, stay tuned. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we have number two. Long time coming, but yeah, we got another one. Same on peeler crab. Excellent. Number two. Yeah, it's turned a bit cloudy now and it's cooled down a little bit. But yeah, it took about two hours. But another nice one, about a pound and a half. Excellent, nice. Yeah, it's now 10 o'clock. So I'll 
slowly it's getting dark. No more bites, just the two codlings. They're about the same size, about a pound and a half each. Fantastic. Yeah, it's overcast. And the sun has gone in, away. And uh, yeah, I'll give it another half an hour. Nothing's gonna happen. Uh, I haven't got any more pillow crab. Uh, something's gonna happen, I'll pack up in half an hour. So, uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna end it here. So if there anything else will happen, I'll put it on to the end. But, yeah, we had a fantastic day. I mean, earlier the sunshine was just glorious. And of course the views. Yeah, it's about high tide now. And, uh, yeah, I'm, co I'm calling it now. And as I say, if, if there's anything else happening, I'll put on to the end. If I'm not, I won't. Thank you for watching. I hope you found it interesting. My theory worked. It was good. So, yeah, till next time. See you later. Bye bye. Nice rock mark. I'll leave you with the view.